Welcome back to Mars, or at least a Mars-like planet today. We're going to be growing greenery, grass, maybe even animals will start to grow. Maybe we'll get a little bit of an ecosystem going, some trees perhaps. But we're already just starting off with a bit of an adventure. I need more aluminium. And I remember last episode, we saw this weird circle-y thing over there. So that's where I'm headed. As we're going, we're looking for excess titanium and aluminum. Those are the two things that we are definitely low on. And also silicon. Silicon is very far and in between this little squidgy squidge guy on the ground here. We need to make sure we gather all that that we can find. Oh, look, aluminum. Aha! So we're starting to get far enough. What is this thing? This looks abnormal and weird and squidgy. I don't like it. Oh, no, it just looks squidgy because of the nighttime. Okay, now it looks normal. What the hell? And what is this rogue crate doing over here? Maybe a spaceship dropped it when it crashed. What are we seeing? What are we doing? A nunya seed. Nunya business. Super alloys and more mushroom seeds, but we're good on that. And we can set up a little forward operating base, probably right here since we're running on auction. And all right, we're gonna put our breathing cabin right at the top of this. Yep, oxygen levels are low, I hear ya. I hear ya, computer, we're good to go though. I'm gonna suck up some oxygen in here. And this is really not a bad place to just go ahead and give ourselves a chest, just to store some of these excess materials. And then we just take what we need and bring it back, but we'll be able to take everything from, hopefully, whatever this is. You know what this reminds me of? One, a halo in Halo, obviously, because it looks like a halo. But in, like, all the space movies that I watch, they all have, like, a gyroscope on their ship. Something that kind of, like, circles the ship to create artificial gravity. And I wonder if that's what this is. Are we gonna float around in there? The ground feels a lot more deeper and darker orange over here. That could be because of the atmosphere I'm starting to form. We're only 100,000 TI off of having that blue sky rocking, even though it's already getting pretty dang blue. This looks like the entrance to whatever this is. I'm heading in. Oh, and this goes deep underground. More uranium, aluminum. What else do we got going on in here? I'm gonna need my flashlight on. Let's break down these poles that fell in my way. What are we looking at? Ooh, a little water bottle action. More titanium, that is something I was looking for. Blueprint chips are really the thing we're looking for in here, though, because I want to make sure that we get more. Wait, there's a message on the screen? All right, we're going to have to pop an oxygen bottle. There's a message on this computer? Today was the inauguration of the space warp gate. Oh, so it was a sport. Oh, it was a warp gate. It was a sporp gate. It takes two years to build and was finally allowed us to easily cross the Izatol Prime sector, but as soon as we turned it on in the main power reactor, everything went wrong. The power immediately went down, all the reactor stabilizers broke within a few minutes, and the spaceship was inexplicably drawn to the closest planet. Uh, that's where we are. We've tried everything to fix it, but it seems there is nothing we can do. The whole crew escaped into the escape pods, and I sent a distress signal. I'm going to my pod now, too. What a waste. All these months of work will be lost. I can't understand what happened. This shouldn't have happened. You're 3044. What is this? A fusion reactor? Can we break this down? Oh my god, wait, I think we might be able to like power this somehow. Got a blueprint chip out of that? And what what are these? What do I get off of these? A T2 deconstruction chip required for those computers. Oh, and then they're going to give me some technical stuff off of that. Okay, so we definitely need to come back here with a tier two breakdown. What is this? Oh my god, wait, there's like a fan in a cave? Hello? And a chest at the end, is this going to be a secret? It does have some water, I'm going to drink one, grab one. Fabric is rare, so we are going to take that. And these Pestera seeds are 200% oxygen growth, which is really nice. I'm a little curious, though, as to what those computers are going to drop for us. Maybe it's going to drop some type of resource. Let's get the heck out of here. I am home with the goodies. Here are tier 3 drills. Oh my, wait, that's a big old boy. That is a lot bigger than I anticipated. I can break down these old ones and use their parts to craft the bigger ones. That's definitely the way to do it. We're going to do another laser. 
I mean, if pressure on the planet doesn't start building up now, we're essentially mining to the core of this entire planet, so... I think that should uh, create a little bit more pressure. Let's go check the graphs. But a bing 35. So now everything else is held behind, and the pressure is going absolutely crazy. If I get one more iron, I can actually make another tier 3 drill. And with just a little bit more aluminum, we could do it again. So, 50% of the way there to blue sky. Nice. And I'm gonna jump over to the cave. I think this is probably the closest location for aluminum. Let's just grab a whole bunch of it. As well as some silicone. And we're gonna need a little bit of ice as well, because these new vegetation tubes require water. And is that like a snow biome up there? That looks like a snow biome to me. I haven't seen that before. Wonder if we need a certain type of clothing or something to get up in there? I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and set up the Ford operating base in here. We have so many of these around the map now to work from. Again, we can throw chests in there and just kind of get those set up to store some extra goodies. I'm trying to find the aluminum. Where are you, aluminium? Ooh, a chest. Did I find this one before? No, I didn't. Super alloy and another blueprint microchip. We have two of those now that we need to recover back home. <laughs> we have one more spot left. I'll go ahead and take this big chunk of ice. Don't mind if I do. And if we take all of this aluminum and ice and stuff upstairs, we're going to have to create a little bit of water. There we go. Easy peasy. That fast. Let me research this button. We learned microchip tier three pinning, whatever that means. And we also had another one in here I needed to hit. Boop. Tier two jetpack? Wait, I already had a tier one jetpack? Excuse me? This requires a methane cartridge. What in the hell? A jetpack? Where is that? That's insane. I'm looking forward to having a jetpack and floating around, man. That's going to be epic. Um, what? What? Oh, God. All right, meteor shower. Um, I don't know if this is going to damage my structures, but I think it is going to bring materials. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that hit my house. Are we all good? What popped out? There's going to be a bunch of rare resources and materials that fall from these. Okay, I need to store my stuff inside, and I need to run around during the meteor shower. Quick, store all my dark stuff here. Put all my water bottles away. All right, go, 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 go. It's just free materials. Free materials. Uh, uh, uh. Don't bonk me in the head, please. Give me everything. This is all bonus. The sky gods are like, here, please, terraform Mars. We need more inhabitable planets on in the in the universe. Uh, uh, uh. Oh god, they're hitting everywhere. There's also another one over there. We just gotta look around for all like the crumbled up rocks. This might give us, like, some super-duper rare stuff. It looks like every meteor drops two materials. Hey, land right in front of me. Thank you. Got an iron. All right, looks like one to two materials, because that one only dropped... Oh, wait, that actually hit me. Oh, and it dealt damage. And I got the achievement for getting hit by a meteor. <laughs> well... <laughs> You know, that's why I came out. Not to get hit by the meteor, but to, you know, gather stuff from the meteors. And I just received another message after getting hit by a meteor. Are they going to be like, hey, are you good, fam? We just saw your your everything spike all of a sudden. Are you dead or alive? Good thing I had just eaten and drank before that, or I think I would have died from that. What is the message about? Oh, we got a couple of messages. Riley, I finally managed to locate the system they sent to you. I don't have much time, but I'll try to give you some advice. I don't need advice. I know what I'm doing. I read that you have a greater chance of success if you build your base at an altitude. I'm not sure why yet. Well, that would have been nice to know a while ago. Planet unaimed in the location of the primal sector. The sector is 842 planets, 13,511 stars, and 7,000 parsecs. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of planets and a lot of stuff. I mean, we're kind of on high ground. Like, this is probably like a dried up lake, essentially. So I don't think uh, living in there is going to be the right choice, but this feels like relative high ground. That's probably a little safer up there, but I, I feel safe here. 
Uh, hopefully. And then back to business. I think they need to be planted outside. This is, so they need... they Oh, so they want actual sun on these. So I'm going to put these guys probably off the side here. And then this is where now I plant my seeds. Not indoors, outdoors. And I grabbed a really rare plant. I don't know, I think it was a nunya. That guy looks real good. I'm going to grow that outside. There we go. Another little thing. And we are out of power. But we only need one cobalt. But with one cobalt, I can actually go ahead and make ourselves another solar panel. I want to get the nuclear reactor going at some point, because that's obviously going to be, like, a primary source of power. And we're going to do one more vegetation tube. Yep, power's still good. Nice. And what is our oxygen production going up at now? 100 ppqs per second. That's a whole lunch bunch of bunch of brisket barbecue per second. That's a lot. Wow. Look at this. Blue sky. Wow, that's very blue. Oh, hell yeah. We're about to have our next goal, but we need heat, man. Where's this tier 3 heater? It's coming right up, actually, because of the oxygen production. Nice. And now I already need another locker, because the dark has been overfilled. So I think I'm going to rename this more to, like, uh... I'm just going to do iron slash tits for titanium, of course. Get your mind out of the gutter. And everything else is going to be stored over here. All right, and again, just to fix this issue, we're going to go ahead and take these plants out. We're going to break these down and see if we can get the more efficient version placed outside. A little bit of water. A little bit of aluminum, and a little bit of love. We'll get even more of these tier 3 tubes going for higher level oxygen. We can also take this one out and put the 300% in, so that way we're super duper optimized. And it looks like we are so close to the goal. Is there any silicon, like, close by? There's the final piece, the final piece to my puzzle. Ooh, more. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Is this more silicon? I don't pass up silicon, man. I just need so much of it. But it looks like I've been avoiding this area over here, and there is plenty over here. Usually when you're looking for something, you can't find it, but it seems like all of a sudden, the stuff I'm looking for, I can easily find. And today's my lucky day. All of our plants are up and running with all of those. We're at 169. Nice. And we're about to hit 100% progress on the blue sky. I'm hearing like our first storm maybe. And there we go. Or something's coming in. We can't even see the blue sky because a storm came in. But through that, we just unlocked the advanced crafting station. And I'm not sure what that's going to craft, but let's find out, yeah? Need two aluminum. And a little bit of iron. And how big is this thing? Okay, see, that's a pretty big thing, but I might be able to shove it right here by the window. But, let me see, do, can we... Okay, so you can't craft... Ah, I see, this is where we're going to do the jetpack and why I couldn't see the jetpack before. But we need iridium rods. And we can also get the tier 4 oxygen tank right now if we have enough power. I can just grab two cobalt, exactly enough. So we can set up another solar panel. There you go. Boop. Power is back up and running. Absolutely no problems. We're already at 5% of the way to clouds. And then if we grab one, two, three super alloys, and I just go find one piece of cobalt somewhere. Where's the blue stuff? Here we go. Cobalt. Cobalt. Nuclear reactor unlocked. Yes, sir. That's awesome. I need that for power, as I mentioned before, but tier 4 oxygen tank is now ours. And then the tier 4 backpack with one, two, three of that, and a piece of titanium. And we have a tier 4 backpack as well, and look at that inventory room. Tier 3 heater unlocked as well now, so we can actually start getting some of that heat systems rocking to get clouds going. Tier 3 heater is going to use those iridium rods. 
that we just unlocked with the new crafter. Okay. But for the sake of atmosphere, I'm going to focus on getting these tier 3 heaters. We're going to head back into the cave and grab a whole bunch of iridium, because I believe it's 9 iridium per rod. And if I also happen to trip over some aluminum, I'll grab that as well, because it's always useful for what we're doing right now in the high tier systems. Mining iridium all day long. This is my iridium mining song. Let's start breaking down all the chests that I find. And here's the last piece of iridium to fill up our inventory. We also got a little bit of aluminum. I could drop this ice and maybe grab one more piece of iridium. But we might need ice as well. Home sweet home. Iridium rod. Iridium rod. We just need one more iridium. And as I had mentioned, when we break one of these down, it's going to give us some iridium. For us to make one more rod. And then tier 3 heaters are ready to rock and roll. Boom. And I don't know what's going to happen with our power. But honestly, too bad. So sad. Doesn't matter. More heat. God damn it. Go ahead and slap up another solar panel just to get our functions back up. There we go. Beautiful. And we are 50% of the way to clouds. It looks like our heat is big chilling now. Time for an adventure. I'm curious what this dust over here going on is. I don't really know if it's going to be like toxic. Like, are we not going to be able to breathe it? Is the floor lava over here? Is something going to tickle my toes? There's a big crash over there. That looks like a full-blown ship. A ship full of uranium, hopefully. This new oxygen tank is being put to the test. Gotta love it. Having so much more space to just sprint. I'm upgraded as heck. Look at this, though. Oh, there's like a bridge up there and everything. You know what? I'm probably gonna need the tier 2 breakdown thing for this as well. Oh, maybe those computers back at the other ship that I was at are like supercomputers. And maybe those are going to give uranium. Maybe they use uranium to run them or something. But look at the sheer scale. This is the ship that clearly crashed that we read about on the computer. And we're going to see if there's anything else for us to break down here too. And definitely create that tier 2 uh, breakdown guy. <gasps> A grass spreader. Hello? Anyone home? Oh my god, there's ladders to go up and down. And look at all of these different seeds. Is this like a... Okay, this is like a living quarters. But we want to also make sure that we don't get lost. I need to kind of keep my directions. Make sure my surroundings are good. Let's get our forward operating base set up out here. Drink a little bit of water. I feel like I want to explore this when I have the tier 2 breakdown thing. And probably a quite a few more oxygen tanks. Which means I am going to need a little bit of cobalt. So I'm going to grab that. And there's just a bunch more ice right here too. It looks like it leads into a little bit of a cave. I just unlocked the launch platform. What in the hell? We're going to have to start grafting a rocket ship to get off this planet. I knew that was going to happen eventually, but I didn't know how. But you know what? Come to think of it, rocket ship makes the most sense. Because what am I going to do? Walk? I don't think so. And if I know my directions, like the back of my hand when it comes to this map, I should be able to walk in here. There's going to be super alloy deposits up top. Some extra materials in there, and I probably left some uranium behind, which is the biggest thing we're looking for. We need nine pieces. And here we go. Yep, this is what I was just talking about. And I think I have a fob just down here on the left somewhere. Or no, I never set it up, did I? Okay, that's fine. Oh no, there it is. Yep, yep, yep. There's the fob. We go in here. There's going to be some extra goodies for us. Don't mind if I do. Okay, we're looking for the uranium that I may have left behind or the blueprint chips. That's also pretty important. Looks like I wasn't thorough enough with this place. There we go. Uranium. 
the wonderful treat. The more you eat, the more you toot. Beans, beans, the wonderful fruit. What? Oh. That is the mega load. I also want this aluminum. We're going to lose the cobalt because we can grab that by our house. Um, is there any other chests up here? Just want to make sure we drop some aluminum right there because we're stupid. Another piece of uranium and some super alloys, but I need to get some oxygen real quick. Do we have any tanks on us? We don't. I need to hit the FOB. <laughs> quick, that looks like a death fault. I got to go around and I don't have a jetpack yet. Oh, ooh. here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we're going to make it with time to spare. Nice. I'm going to go back up there and grab all those goodies. It looks like clouds are starting to form. It might rain soon. Let me get in here real quick. <gasps> Give me those tasty treats, please. Tasty. Oh, not that way. Tasty treats. Super alloys, more aluminum. These are actually pretty decent seeds, but that's fine for now. This is where we mine the super alloys. It doesn't happen to also be where we mine uranium, is it? I'm seeing if there might be a chest up here hidden with one last piece. Oh, look at that chesticle. Okay, how do we get to that? Through massive amounts of parkour, apparently. I see a bridge this way. We got to make sure we have enough oxygen to turn around as well. Honestly, I'd like to have the jetpack not even to go up. I know that's weird to say, but I feel like I would like to have the jetpack to kind of like buffer a fall more so than actually like go up with it. You know what I mean? Just so I could like get down from here easily. But this should be where the chest is if my calculations are correct. Nope, I am completely turned around and it is getting dark and I am running out of oxygen. Oh my god, this is where panic sets in, guys. This is where panic sets in. I gotta skedaddle. I gotta put the put the red steppers on to get the heck out of here. Uh, however that is, I don't even know. I'm kind of lost and it's dark. Oh no. Okay, wait, 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 wait. That's where we need to be. Can I make this jump? <gasps> we made it. Okay. Lovely. Uh, make this jump too. Oh my Jesus. Uh, hopefully your butt's puckered. You can now unpucker. We're safe. Suck up some oxygen. Photosynthesis. And then we go. It seems like now that there's clouds, it is getting so much darker that I want the tier three flashlight. I want the tier two breakdown. We just unlocked a biodome. Might be the coolest thing I've ever seen. But I might be just the damn best terraformer to ever exist on this planet. I mean, I guess it's easy to do because I'm the only one on this planet. <laughs> and there is the last piece of uranium that we were discussing. I'm gonna grab that. The super alloys and the aluminum. So now we have, I mean, this is like the rarest resource run that I've ever had. Straight up. This is everything I was looking for in Mark. Here we go. We can see the progress towards rain. Okay, so we actually did already form clouds. That's what that is. That Those do look like clouds. But you can see it's kind of starting to fall off just a little bit. Like we need a bigger push towards heat and pressure. What I can do real quick to make this an easier job for myself is turn all that uranium into a uranium rod and then we put down our nuclear reactor. Um, do we put it outside? Okay, it looks like we put it outside. Can we slap it on the roof? That's another question. It can be placed on the roof. So that's where we're gonna put it. Bada bing, bada boom. Probably the worst place when it comes to meteor showers, but you know, if we explode, we explode in a fiery ball of destruction and death and someone else comes and starts terraforming on this planet, yeah? But now our energy consumption should be well above. Yeah, we have a hundred extra kilowatts to try to get this rocking and rolling a little better. And without further ado, I am gonna have a front lawn soon. I could build, uh, I believe, two of these guys right now. I'm gonna put a front lawn there and we're just gonna just put it a little further out this way, shall we? And we'll have a big old front lawn. And then what does it take to put one of these massive biodomes down? Because I believe we could just put all of our planting materials inside the biodome. We need lerma seeds as well. Mm, I might have to go scoop some of those. 
But let's go ahead and let all that grow. I'm going to recheck the ship closest to where I live right now. Because I guarantee that I've left some goodies behind that I can now use, like Lerma Seeds. Hello. What have I left behind inside this wee ship? Anything of you see more of these computers for the Tier 2 breakdown? I'm still very curious as to what that's going to be. Maybe we should do that next. There's Shagna Seeds, Pestura Seeds, some Beans Fabrics, and some other things. Alright. Oh, we've left a blueprint behind. What else is going on in here? A bunch of chairs. Ooh, step over all that. Looks like I left some aluminum, titanium, and some iron behind. I could always use more of that. And there we go. There's some extra super alloys. And there we go. Another Lerma seed. That's why we came here. Beautiful. Let's bring that home and craft a biodome. And I'm thinking this might be the start of pushing for the high ground. Just maybe we'll put the biodome a little bit higher off the ground. You know what I mean? Because we don't want the biodome flooding. <gasps> grass! I told you guys, I told you I would grow grass on Mars today. And it's starting to seed up. It's not anything thick yet, but it's coming. And our oxygen creation is at 359 ppqs. This process for rain is really, really starting to speed up. And with the biodome addition, it's going to be even crazier. Let's we'll hit this blueprint microchip, a T2 GPS satellite. I haven't needed to use any of that because I am an explorer. I just explore. I don't need the map to tell me where I need to go. I know. I just feel it in the air and then I do it. I need one more cobalt and then we can set up the biodome. I think I'm going to put it like right here on this hill just across from us. It seems like a good spot. And there's two cobalt right there, so it was meant to be. And look at this puppy. Oh my god, that's a that's a big old guy. That is a big old guy. And I want that door to kind of face out towards me. And I want it to be somewhat flat. I don't want to have to jump into it. There we go. And we got to put a door on that with some iron. And then obviously a bit of a staircase with another piece of iron. There we go. Grab a whole bunch of that for some building purposes. And our beautiful little biodome up on the hill. There we go. Put that there. And then can we just kind of snap these wherever we need them? There we go. Beautiful. And look at that. These are already kind of cooking. And what is this? Show interface? <gasps> no shot. Beehives, bio labs. Wait, there's so much. Wait, so this is like our next thing up. Insects? Fishes? Oh. My. A uh, good uh, golly gosh. So how does this work? Do these just grow plants ambiently? Do I need to put plants in it? I think it just kind of goes on its own. But that's crazy. A bio lab allows to craft bio recipes, grow underwater algae, generate biomass. So once water starts forming on the planet, this is where we're going to come in here and we're going to start getting, like, fish and plants and algae to grow in the water. Oh, okay. That's sick. You know what it is? It somewhat feels like, you know what? I know we just built this. Beautiful. So now this is attached to my house. That's so much better. So we have access to that workbench now. And now we can grow flowers. That's what we just unlocked. Flowers. A single flower for five oxygen per second. I mean, it it might just be time for our biggest adventure yet. We're going to go to the distance. And I want to also check on the ice caps to see how those are rocking. Because that cave might open up the, the next resource that we're looking for. Squishy, squishy what's popping. We are really, really close to rain, though, by the way. 95%. I want to look up here on that ice cap. See what's going on. See if the ice is starting to melt. And I want to see... It said, like, a certain amount of heat or parts per billion or something that we needed to hit for it to melt. And I want to try to keep track of that, so that way when it opens up, we can come investigate that. 
because maybe uranium and this osmium stuff is hiding behind it. And it might also be underneath the ice caps in the uh, winter biome as well. But it looks like, yeah, this thing is still hard frozen. And it looks like starts melting at 100 NK. I think NK is uh, a lot. So we are quite a bit off. And look, another piece of uranium right here. Beautiful. That's enough for one, count it, one rocket. And that fills us up on iridium. And let's go see if it's raining. I want to see rain. <gasps> I want grass to grow everywhere. I don't want to have the grass seeders be the only way, right? And I want oceans and lakes to start forming, man. There's nothing better than progression, and this game has the best progression. And is it raining yet? No, not quite yet, but soon, I hope. So what's the next step in the terraformation process? Liquid water. And have we unlocked anything else for this new biomass situation? No. So we can't create any biomass. This this structure here is the only thing creating biomass right now. And then eventually we'll unlock the bio lab, and that's also going to create a little bit of biomass. Okay. All right, and with all this iridium, I'm going to craft a couple of iridium rods. I need one more iridium. Boop. There we go. I can grab one piece of this uranium to make our first rocket engine using super alloy. But uh bing But for the time being, I don't have enough uranium for that, so... And let's blow this popsicle stand. Let's go explore! What the heck is that? Is that a ladder? Um, where does the ladder go? What the hell? A Lerma seed and a message. Our ship crashed on this planet for an unknown reason. Many of us died upon impact. Some died on the surface. I'm the only one left. I tried to survive, but this land is too hostile. My health is deteriorating. I'm going outside one last time to find some water. So was this someone else that landed here? <gasps> a whole nother rocket engine. We can make our jetpack already. Wait, is that what I'm hearing? Oh my God, this is what I'm hearing. This poor guy's been looking for water, but look at me. I grew my own water. And it looks like there's some more ice up there, but I want the jetpack. And another cave up there. That might be the spicy cave we're looking for. But let's go make that jetpack, and then we'll come right back. Feels good to hear some rain for the first time. I'm mad that I still have to drink water instead of just opening my mouth. But I don't think there's enough oxygen to breathe on the planet yet, so... Unfortunately, we're gonna have to wait to open our mouth in the rain. I'm gonna grab some excess materials. I put down another FOB over by that little secret ladder we just found. I'm gonna need a little bit of cobalt as well. Hopefully nothing malfunctions in the rain, and that we don't have to, like, cover it up or something. Look at our grass, man. It's so thick, so juicy. I just want to eat it. I just want to be a cow. Eat all the grass. Home sweet home, and as I just said, we have another rocket engine on us, so I can just go ahead and grab this one that we just crafted. And bada bing, bada boom, jetpack time. Problem is, all of my spots are taken up, so we're going to need a new exosuit. Titanium and two magnesium, which we have plenty of. Boop, pop, boop. Grab this. Go here. Tier two exoskeleton. And now we have room for our jetpack. And how does this work? That's how this works. So it's more of like a float than it is a straight up. How long can we do it for? We just go forever? This is awesome. Cool. So then we can use that to navigate up onto these rocks, because look, there's like a bridge up there. So that might be where some goodies are. Well, let's grab some iron and some titanium. I might need to grab a little bit of titanium, a little bit more. 
I'm just gonna get a few more drills going, man. I just wanna make sure while we go on this adventure, big ol' adventure, we have stuff back at home working for us, you know what I mean? Here we go, another giant drill coming right up. I'll put you right there. And there we go, our pressure is a lot higher now. Looks like pressure and heat are kind of following suit with each other. This jetpack is so nice. Look at this. I'm so glad there's no fuel or anything and we can just kind of rock and roll with it. This is going to help traveling. This is going to help everything. Oh my god, I'm going to use this so much. Whee! Alright, and then I just need a little bit of silicone and a little bit of aluminum. You can also research this little module we found free up an inventory spot to your four mining speed. Nice. There we go. Large heater. Slap that down right there. One more piece of aluminum. And we'll put down another heater. And then if we remove this, is our power going to be fine? It's not. Okay, what are we sitting at for power? Another solar panel. Bada bing, we're good to go. And this is all of the numbers going up before we head on out on our big old adventure. All right, let's figure out this parkour now, shall we? We have a jetpack, it should be a little bit easier. I wanna pick up some food while I'm out. As we always do, we gotta hit Mickey D's on the way, you know? And we'll just kind of zoot up this mountain just like this, and I'm gonna jump to... I mean, where does that go? I can't be going anywhere. Let's go. Oh, gosh. All right, so I see how it works. It really... doesn't send you across gaps. Okay. So we still have to parkour a little bit. All right, back at the parkour FOB. Let's get on up there and see if we can't find our way all the way to the top. I don't know what's going to be up there. I'm hoping that's where, like, uranium or iridium is going to be. Let's start by going this way. And then see if there's anything parkour this way to get up. I'm going to grab some super alloys while I'm over here, too, though. Because we want to make sure... Wait, what is that? Is that a gold crate? Gold. That is a gold crate. <gasps> a golden effigy, another rocket engine, a uranium rod. What is the golden effigy? Right click to build it, and then another rocket engine. But a tusca seed and a golden seed. And what do we get for breaking this down? Aluminum and a super alloy. Ooh, that's cool. One of the golden chests has been found. I'm assuming there's a bunch of those all over the map. Just to kind of collect and do your thing. And we got this little tank cover. Um, what should we put this on top of? I like it on this chest right here. Or is it... Oh, it's my little pod from landing. Oh, cute. And then real quick, we can take out... Um, yeah, this is the lesser. The pesteras. And we're going to put the golden seed in there. And then instead of the pink, we're going to put the tusca. And that's going to help with a little bit of oxygen increase. Wee! Where the hell am I? I'm so lost in this cavern. There it is. Oh, and I found the chest that I was looking for before. Beautiful. And what do you got inside? This is a precariously placed chest. Super alloys, aluminum, and more uranium. Beautiful. I'm going to break that so I don't think I didn't grab it. And then this is the area I kind of haven't explored before. In these upper chasms. Can I make this jump? Uh, I guess we're going to find out. Yep, we can. And what is that? That's going to be aluminum up here. Yeah, it looked a little blue for a second, so I was like, uh-oh, that looks good. The next place I wanted to check is where we just were, where we found that weird secret underground ladder. There was another K-1 
cave up on the hill. I want to see what's in there. We're going to stop at the Iridium Ford operating base and shoot through the other side and see what's going on. All right, coming up on the weird secret ladder hidden behind the rock. I am going to grab this forward operating base and take it with me because we can definitely put this out a little bit farther. And it looks like there's some orange dust kind of like in that chasm right there that we could check out as well. But my curiosity is peaking when it comes to this cave because I know caves are going to have materials and rarer resources like the Iridium cave that I have. It's very dusty in here. We got super alloys. A good amount of super alloys. What's this? Ooh. Some more Lerma seeds. Those are really good. And what the hell is this? Find a weird door in a cave. Well, I found a weird door in a cave. What is that, though? Does that mean there's, like, other civilizations? Like, aliens that live here or something? What the hell is this? That's crazy. Okay. I didn't anticipate anything like that. I thought we were the first and only one. Sulfur. First sulfur. I need that for the upgraded jetpack. But there's no sulfur to mine in here. It was only just one in the chest, but that's nice, though, because now we know the chests are going to start popping in. With a little bit of sulfur, if we're looking for it. I mean, that's the only way we get uranium right now, too, but it might be the only way we get the blue ore as well. An old, broken-down satellite of some kind. That we can open? Oh, a blueprint? Microchip? Don't mind if I do. Some super alloys and a few other pieces. Okay, so we got to keep our eye out for these things because they could be crashed all over the map for all I know. I do need your piece of iron, though, to just build our forward operating base real quick. Yep, I need another piece of iron. Uh-oh. Actually, no, I have an oxygen bottle. I don't need to use it necessarily. We're cutting it kind of close to the wire here. But everything's fine. We're in. This is our new forward operating base. And then all the way over here, what is this? I honestly did not expect the map to be this large. It is huge. But is this going to circle around to the other side of the lake that I spawn on, maybe? There's like a cross right there. There's a bunch of crosses in here. Wait, are those man-made? I don't believe these are man-made. I think these are like part of the planet or something. Huh. And where does this overlook? This overlooks a whole nother area. We just unlocked the bio lab. And look at this. There's a chest down there. It seems like the dunes are just kind of collapsing into this pool here. But eventually, I bet this is going to be a freaking ocean. Look at the elevation of that. These are some really weird structures to have on an uninhabited planet. Supposedly uninhabited, I suppose. And it looks like another cave to boot. And this looks like some shiny blue ore. Do I mine this? Is it in here? Is this what I'm looking for the whole time? I don't know what this is. I don't see anything new ore wise yet. Well, let's check the crate. And maybe it'll foreshadow for us a little water bottle action. Some more uranium, don't mind if I do. Some aluminum. I can't go too far because we need to get back for oxygen. But holy lord. There is so much to explore. And where does this go? Why is the sky so black? There we go. And this goes out into... What I'm going to assume is another freaking ocean. Holy shit, this map is massive. And I'm going a little deeper in the cave, and it looks like we're hitting another ice brick. 
that we're going to have to wait until the planet warms up a little bit more. And I see more blue stuff in there. So again, that might be where we find that really special ore. I got to hit an oxygen capsule real quick so we can make our way out. But I'm starting to learn where a lot of the materials are. Because uh, there's a lot of place to mine materials. And there's a chest over here. Let's just make sure there's nothing rare or another blueprint chip in here. Ooh, an iridium rod and more uranium. Don't mind if I do. This is not one of those games where they're going to hand you everything, man. You got to go out. You got to explore. You got to get your hands dirty. That's for damn sure. And this jetpack has just kind of made the rest of the map a little bit more accessible for me. Another chest right here. Check for rare materials. Uranium. Some more Lermas. And what looks like... Another piece of the ship may have crashed right here. But it looks like it's got a giant door that we might not be able to get into yet. Uh, we can definitely squeeze our way in there. But I need oxygen, so we're going to have to come back to this later. Uh, home sweet home. Really, really good progress today, boys and girls. Look at the grass really coming in now. Definitely next time we're going to have some liquid water coming down and our oceans and ponds are going to start filling up. My house might flood a little bit, but we can move it to some higher ground if need be. And next time this is not going to look the same. None of this. Absolutely wild. Thank you guys for hanging out today. If you made it this far, you probably enjoyed the video. Be sure to interact with it with a like, comment, subscription, and of course notification icon also. Let's you know whenever the next video goes live, which is usually every single day. So definitely check back tomorrow for the next latest and greatest adventure. Adios.